This is Code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Principles course. I'm on Intro to Programming, Unit 3, Lesson 8, Creating Functions with Parameters, Puzzle 11, Adding Parameters to Functions. Draw a starfish. We want to make our picture more interesting by adding some variety. Currently, the draw starfish function can only add a starfish of size 60. Okay. Add a parameter to the function definition for starfish that allows you to control its size, like the draw starfish size. And this word here, size, is the name of the variable. And by variable, I mean parameter. Right? So this gets a little hairy, but this is a parameter. The thing in between the parentheses of a function definition is a parameter. And we'll get more into that in a second. Make sure your parameter has a descriptive descriptive and meaningful name and that's important for keeping track of how a, a program operates update your function calls to use your new version of draw starfish and change the size of your starfish all right so let's scroll back up here add a parameter to the function definition the function definition is where we created the functions these are the function calls right this is where we ask the computer hey computer run draw starfish and the computer is going to search around and try to figure out if there's something named that. Oh, draw starfish. It then drops in and runs all of this code in this function. And when it hits the bottom, it then goes all the way back here to where we called it and runs the code beneath it. Parameters are these, are, are is going to be the numbers or variables or arguments. Um, well, actually, that's the wrong word for all of them because they're parameters. But it is the text in between the parentheses. So starfish right here, I'm going to hit over and a box should appear for you, right? And I'm going to steal their idea and just use size because we are going to be controlling the size of our starfish. Update your function calls so you, to use your new version of draw starfish and change the size of your starfish. So we also... So to control the size, it's not enough just to write size here. We have added this parameter, but there's a yellow triangle here. It's not called, meaning we haven't added a parameter up there. But we also don't have it anywhere here, right? So we're using size, and then we never call or we never reference that parameter throughout this. Where would we want to reference that? We want to replace 60 with it because 60 is what's actually getting drawn as we move forward. And instead of doing 60, we want our turtle to move forward the amount that is specified when a function is called, when someone asks it to run. So now, if I say draw starfish without a number here, we're going to have an issue because it will not run this function without an error. Because it needs this information to know how much to draw, how many pixels to color. So I have to go up here to where we use draw starfish. And this is our call, right? This is where we ask the computer, hey, computer, draw a starfish. We need a number here now. Otherwise, the computer does not know how big of a starfish to make. Do they want us to change it? Update your function calls to use the new version. Changes. Oh, yep. Cool. And we're going to need one here. I'm just going to say seven now let's say 80 we'll see what that looks like and maybe 50 going a bit smaller and now i'm gonna go ahead and hit run but uh and this one's a bit bigger now it dips behind the seagrass and again how this works is we ask the computer to run draw starfish and we tell it 80 for a size it then looks for this size right is now 80. So it runs through and says, okay, move forward. How much? Oh, well, what was size? Oh, size was 80. And so it, the turtle moves forward 80. And then again, moves forward after it turns. And again, in each time it's using the number we passed as a parameter. Well, as an argument. All right, that looks good to me. So I bet they're going to have us add a second one next, but we'll see. Make sure you do add your parameter, but then you need to have it used throughout in each move forward method or function. Okay, let's keep going. Ta-da!